I'm Eki Thump and welcome back to Let's Play No Man's Sky. Uh, last episode we were looking for some platinum because we were going to install a thing on our suit. Um, what was it? A shield boost upgrade of some kind and I needed platinum for it. So let's grab the platinum out of storage. Fortunately I had quite a bit saved up. So let's use that to install this. Shield boost tau. So this gives me a degree of shield strength. Um, Christ alone knows how much it's doing because there's no numeric readout of how strong your shield is. But I'm reliably informed that's made my shield stronger. So there we go, that's nice. Let's put this back. Um, so today we're going to be... Yeah, hello. Today we're going to be doing the second part of the Atlas uh, crafting chain getting the the next one of these things which I think is that is obviously that plus something else which we're gonna have to go and find before we do let's see if I can get this to send me to another drop pod I would like another cargo slot on my uh, on my exosuit to get one seems like a decent investment I know I've been saving up for a better ship. But honestly, I can't be asked rebuilding all the systems on a ship right now, so we're going to spend a little bit of money upgrading either the cargo or the technology. I haven't quite decided yet. Right, actually, only 20 seconds away. Um, well, I guess it would be kind of nice to have an extra cargo slot so that I can have a huge stack of, um, I don't know, something. On the other hand, it would be nice to move the subsystems out of the main area. Well, I could start putting all the all these environment things in a tech uh, in tech slots, or I could just expand one of these. Shield boosts, stamina. Okay, question. Do I have any more of those? Either shield boosters or stamina boosters? Uh, I do not. What about jetpack boosters? Now, I can't move the jetpack, so it's probably not the best idea to put the jetpack boosters in the tech slots because then the, uh, the jetpack can't be connected to them. Yeah, so we won't do that. Um, and the life support as well has to stay here. And has actually, oh shit, the way this is laid out, we can't actually link the things to the jetpack anyway. On the other hand, cargo. Oh, why are these not in the cargo? stuck. Right, do you know what? Let's get another cargo slot. I'm going to add a 100,000 credit, 100,000 space book cargo slot. In that slot, uh, we'll probably put plutonium. So let's move plutonium into the cargo slot. It's got to be things we tend to gather a lot of. Nanite clusters is obviously a good candidate because we keep getting those all the goddamn time. And uh, yeah, it would be nice to be able to carry a ton of plutonium without having to sacrifice all of my energy for it. So let's do that. That said, we're probably going to spend all the plutonium we've got because we're nearly at a point where we need to refill the launch thrusters. But it's a good investment for the future, I think. Let's take. Actually, I don't need to take that, do I? Throw it away. Never mind. Got it now. Get nip. Okay. Right, now that's done. Uh, so next we're going into space. We're going into space to get the next Atlas Stone recipe. See? Launch thruster empty. Technology 
Okay, we're good for a couple of jumps. Hopefully many, many more. Because you never know, we may get more free warp cells in the next Atlas interface. Right, so. Not custom waypoint. Yes, yes. Um, am I pressing the right button? Yes, I am. It's... There we are, Atlas Station. So it took a little while to uh, figure out what I wanted to do. Right, so... There we go, Noshiman 10. Weirdly, that was right next to my uh, starting system, because I've teleported back from where we were to check my storage for the plutonium. Oh, someone else has been here already. Discovered by Arcane. I don't know if there's a date of discovery. I can't imagine the name Arcane was... Uh, very long you're being taken. Well, I see some black pedestals up there, so it looks like we're getting another pair of free warp cells. Let's just gather the language bubbles. Hopefully it takes us a little bit longer to find the materials for this one. I know that may sound a bit weird, but I don't want to have to tag on another random bit of uh, whatever we did last week. I just wish doing this Atlas quest rewarded you with Atlas words, but as far as I know, the only way to get them is to do monoliths. Which seems a bit weird. You would think the Atlas would teach you its own language at the very least. Okay, I think we're done with those. We've got a few words there. One free warp cell, two free warp cells. Let's have a look. I don't know what any of this means. Another Atlas interface. How many of these constructs exist in the deep void? How long have they been slumbering, waiting for a traveller? Have they been expecting me? Am I somehow chosen? The Atlas crafted this existence. The Gek, the Viking, the Corvax, the stars that fill the skies, and the hatred that burns within the deep. Every world that turns, and every form that lives, the Atlas offers it all. Consent to whatever you said. I take the gift of knowledge, certain in my decision. All doubts are silenced. The stars await me. The Atlas shell holds the remains of a parasitic space-borne life form, most likely of extra-dimensional origins. It's an englobed shade. So we need our nano and we need some copper. Like, these quests are cool and all, but honestly I really wish the Atlas just didn't have its own language. Like, why would it be speaking to me in a language I can't understand? I have no idea what I'm, I'm agreeing to when I do these quests. There could be a really cool story here, but I'm only hearing, like, my side of it. And you saw there, there were at least like 20 Atlas words there that I had no idea what they meant. I would have to put some quite considerable time into doing monoliths to even get a vague idea of what the Atlas was telling me in these, these little uh, episodes. Okay, this could be another quick one. There's copper down there. It's not really so much of a quest chain as a sort of scenic tour, is it really? Bloody hell, look at that colour scheme. Well, here we are. I'm just looking for some copper. This is what happens when evolution takes acid. We end up with planets like this. Okay, copper we're looking for. I'm not going to find it at sea, so let's try and... Yeah, that's another issue. This is an ocean planet. Right. Uh, well, I guess we just keep going to try and find some. 
Oh, now here's a possibility. This could be copper. The problem we might run into is that aluminium is quite tricksy. And we're looking for copper on a sky with an orange planet and red seas. So this could very well be just a shiny white metal that's reflecting the ground around it. Jesus. Yeah, look at this planet. This is very modern art. The other issue we're going to have is that this is out to sea. Oh no, it's copper. So can I... Yeah, I can just sit here and fire me guns. Fine. Oh, sorry. I do apologise. Huh? Genuinely never seen a sentinel underwater before, but there you go. Uh, how are we doing for copper now? Two or three six, that's plenty. Alright, craft. The englobed shade. Look, these are actual fish. random generator managed to shit out something that actually vaguely looks like it could be a, like a plausible animal. Which is quite special in and of itself. Do you know what? I could have taken some quests while I was coming down here, couldn't I? Never mind. Uh, we've got another warp cell, so... Uh, let's have a look in the log. Path of the Atlas... Probably not got it activated. Yeah, the Atlas Path. There we go. Yeah, we do have another warp cell, so I could just I can just jump to the next one. Uh, how long did that actually take me? I've been recording for about 20 minutes. And I've probably got about 5 minutes of actual gameplay in, out of that. Uh, well, let's go to the next system anyway. We'll go to the next Atlas system. We'll do two jumps in one episode. Ooh, Thamium. We are building up a backlog of uh, Thamium and uh, of or warp cells, rather. We want to keep gathering materials anyway. They're not going to last forever. I don't know why I'm going back to the space station. I don't need to be there, do I? Uh, next Atlas station. Then. Takes a wee bit of time for it to go through that, but there you go. Next Atlas station then. Storukel. Let's go. Pokemon Atlas this time. Alright, let's pick up the three warp cells. And let's see if we know any of these words. No, it keeps saying robot at me. It keeps saying, I recognise lab and robot, it says those every time. Fall. We clear. Okay, we know that one. For some reason, the words that we know the, um, in the Atlas speak don't get highlighted in orange. But you can tell because they're not capitalised. So that is the, actually the word fall. I was born with everything I needed to explore these worlds. My exosuit, my ship, every tool and every impulse led me to scan and give name to whatever I could find. But this... I can give no name to what I see. Within the orb, I see worlds that never were. I see the stirring of something primal and undeniable. I see the death cry of a god 
or something approaching it. It wants me to persist in, these, in this journey, seeking fragments of its interface, the stones of the atlas. It rejoices in my repetition, my compliance, my cloud of unknowing. Yep, concede. I will commit myself to the voyage. In all things, I am ready. I will not falter. Uh, this one, the Noospheric Orb, an atlas seed capable of resonating on humanoid telepathic frequencies, may attempt to subsume any subordinate intellect in close proximity. The Englobed Shade and some Nickel. Okay, actually I've got... Do you know, I'm just going to look at what the word Noospheric means, because I've got no idea. I'm vaguely aware that's how you pronounce it, and that's it. Alright, according to Wikipedia, the noosphere is the sphere of human thought. Um, the third in a succession of phases of development of the Earth after the geosphere, or inanimate matter, and the biosphere, or biological life. So it's consciousness, basically. It's the, it's the realm of consciousness, is the noosphere. So there you go. Right. Let us go and get some nickel then. Okay, not that one. There we go, gold and nickel on this one. Um, and hopefully we'll find a manufacturing plant soon. We do have that sort of secondary quest to start doing stuff with the atmosphere processes. Well, here we are. Okay, that's clearly Heridium, that's not nickel. Uh, what does nickel look like? I think it's another grey sort of metal. Um, I'm not sure exactly the shade or colour of it, but I guess we're, we're just looking for stuff that shines. Off the top of my head, I think it's a chunk, but it might easily, might just as easily be a, an arch. Uh, this might be it over there. Let's have a look. I don't know. Could very well be. Let's see. Nope, this is the gold. Okay. So... We're looking for something that's not bright. Oh, what's that over there? We'll go and see. We're looking for something that's not bright yellow. Ah, that's nickel, I think, there, that arch. Okay. Well, that being down in that pit, it's probably just another... Yeah, it's just a waypoint in the middle of nowhere. Okay. There's our nickel. Let's go and pick it up. Right, I need two more. I want to try and get exactly 200. Did we get it? There you go, exactly 200 nickel. Perfect. Right, there's our noospheric orb. Okay, um, that is today's missions complete then, I think. 
next time uh, we'll be looking at uh, the next that's, that's the the third orb in the chain so there are I think including the remembrance the final one there are seven more in the chain so we'll start work on those next week for now Alfred Necky Thump this has been Let's Play No Man's Sky do hope you've enjoyed it like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game and I will see you next time